everyone welcome back to explore electronics in this video let us see module wise some important questions in communication theory subject that is 21 ec 44 so in this subject if you see module 1 module 1 is of amplitude modulation double side band and single side band and vestigial side band modulation methods so in this module you can expect questions like this define modulation and need for modulation uh, this is repeatedly asked many times in examinations need for modulation and you need to get the mathematical expression for AM wave with suitable diagrams you need to write and then single tone modulation of AM wave with frequency spectrum and uh, get the expression for total power and efficiency of AM wave. So from AM one question will be there you can expect explain detailed working of switching modulator with the block diagram unnecessary derivation this is also previously asked you can see communication analog communication question paper you can refer if you want to refer the previous question papers of VTU and envelope detector is also asked many times and bring out the significance of RC time constant in the circuit in detection of message signal without distortion and coming to DSBSC uh, explain modulation of DSBSC wave with frequency spectrum explain the generation of DSPSC modulated wave using ring modulator this is also asked many times in the previous time coherent detection demonstrate the process of coherent detection of the DSPSC signal and highlight the significance of phase error and explain the co receiver used for demodulation in DSPSC signal and explain the operation of quadrature carrier multiplexing there are many concepts here um, you can't say this question will appear but these are the type of questions you will get in amplitude modulation one question dspsc one question you can expect and also derive the single side band modulated wave uh, for which upper side band is retained and you can see show that vsp modulated s of t carrying the vestige of the lower side band defined by this with relevant spectrum and give the comparison of various amplitude modulation techniques which is discussed in this module and relevant block diagram explain the working of FDM system there are 15 questions here you can uh, you can cover all the topics which are present in this module if you study these 15 questions these are few of the problems uh, don't get into the exact values given over here these are example problems you can expect these kind of problems in module 1 in communication theory so coming to module 2 so module 2 if you look at the syllabus this is angle modulation frequency modulation generation of fm signals uh, demodulation of fm phase locked loop uh, pll linear model of pll non-linear effects of fm system so let us see the questions over here define fm derive an expression for narrow band fm and compare it with a Define modulation index maximum uh, deviation of the frequency modulated signal. Derive and compare the expressions for zero crossing of FM and PM. Show the relationship between FM and PM. List and explain the important properties of angle modulated waves. And if you see question number six, explain the generation of FM wave by direct method and show it can be made as wideband FM. Uh, you, if you see the previous question papers this questions you may guess easily and FM stereo multiplexing with the block diagram and frequency discriminator demodulation of FM signal these questions are repeatedly asked and also PLL linear and non-linear model of PLL detection using PLL FM detection is in PLL is also important explain non-linearity and its effects of FM system explain the working of super heterodyne receiver this question is also asked many times in the previous times and in fm wave with for this equation find the carrier frequency modulation index power dissipated by the fm wave across 5 ohm resistor this kind of problem you may get and also again the fm wave equation is given you need to find out uh, the same parameters so this is about module 2 it is full of uh, fm PLL related things then coming to module 3 module 3 is about noise thermal different types of noise and explain them uh, they will ask 
nice in the analog modulation let us see the questions of this module define short noise explain thermal noise and problems of thermal noise and uh, voltage and power and you may get question like explain different types of noise also define white noise plot power spectral density psd and autocorrelation function acf of white noise define noise equivalent bandwidth and derive the expression for the same solve for figure of merit of the dspsc receiver and am receiver and fm receiver you can get one question uh, uh, out of these figure of merits explain about fm threshold effect and its reduction method explain pre and de emphasis of circuit with circuit diagram this question also you may uh, get and some problems you can expect and then come to module 4 module 4 is sampling and quantization okay so here in sampling and quantization if you see advantages of digitizing the analog signals why we want to digitize and state the sampling theorem for band limited signals explain the process of sampling using equations so this question you can expect and derive interpolation formula for reconstruction of sample signals what is aliasing effect how it can be eliminated explain pam with neat uh, e e waveforms and equations with neat diagram explain the concept of tdm with neat block diagram explain the generation and detection of ppm and some problems uh, from module 4 can be expected then coming to module what is module 5 module 5 is sampling and partization continued so with the module 4 it is continuation encoding decoding filtering multiplexing demodulation and all so here you can expect process of quantization and its types quantization noise derive the output signal uh, signal to noise ratio snr of a quantizer with relevant diagram explain the generation reconstruction of pcm and uh, uh, show the representation of some data in different line coding schemes this question also you can expect delta modulation transmitter and receiver with equations illustrate the drawbacks of delta modulation scheme and show the process of video and uh, mpeg signal transmission and write a note on vocoders and problem you can expect on pcm so here uh, this question will be uh, sure I think they give some data and you need to write the different coding schemes and these are the few questions in communication theory you better you refer the previous question papers which is analog communication previously in VTU now it is communication theory thank you